I'm here at the Thames and Kennet Marina, just outside Reading in Berkshire. It's a kind of two-in-one marina, partly for cruisers, partly for barges, and has 450 moorings in total. It's a fairly new site and part of the Ting Dean Group, so there's high expectations and I can't wait to find out more. Okay. Lee, tell us a little bit about the history of the marina. Oh, uh, the marina was moved to its current location in 2003, where it went under, undergone quite a lot of expansion and new facilities come in place where we've got over 450 berths now catering from narrow boats to Dutch barges, from day boats to ocean going cruisers. So we've got a real good mixture here at Thames and Kennets. Okay. So how did you end up at this marina? Well originally when we bought the boat we were in another boatyard a little bit further down the river but it was on the river itself as a mooring and during the winter the river comes up, boats either taken out or you've got to keep going and checking the ropes and doing right various other bits and pieces whereas here we're all on floating pontoons so you can moor your boat literally forget about it so it's a good safe environment to uh, to keep it really. So how did you end up choosing this marina? Well it was a a, a bit of an emergency really. <laughs> oh right okay. <laughs> we, we went up to Abingdon and we had a really freak storm right. and the whole of the Thames flooded and we were coming through like white Torrid, wasn't it? Was it? Like white so, water rafting, yeah. rather than Goodness cruising. Me. And everything was flooded, all the banks was flooded, and the locks, we went through two locks where they just opened the doors, and then the levels were the same both sides. And we got to Reading, and we realised that we wasn't going to be able to get under any more bridges. So we darted in here, really out of, just we needed somewhere to, to be rescued, and we moored up here and uh, we've stayed here ever since. Yeah. Where can people cruise to from this marina? Uh, well, a nice little sort of sedate pace. You're looking about two and a half to three hours down to Henley. Obviously, you've got the regatta down there in the summer months. Uh, heading further inland, you're looking about five days to Lechlade, or directly opposite the marina entrance is the access onto the Kennedy and Avon Canal. And you're looking about two weeks to Bath. Fantastic. And what about from on land? Where can they go to from here? Uh, well, local events, obviously, we've got the Henley Regatta, uh, we've got the Reading Music Festivals, we've got Championship Football at the Majesty Stadium, um, to go and exercise the wallet, we've got the Oracle Shopping Centre. Can you take us through the facilities that there are here? Um, well, we've got water and electricity on each pontoon, yeah. which we plug our boats into. We don't necessarily use the water just for washing or filling the boat up. But here at um, Tingling, here at around Reading, Kennet and Reading, oh, sorry, we've got the little boater's bar at the end which is quite good if you've yeah. had a good day's work uh, and you want a beer uh, or weekends they do a little breakfast and things like this so people who are working on the boats can do that got the little chandelier which has got lots of bits in it yeah. there's showers 24-7 uh, uh, toilets heated in the winter um, there's a laundry, a laundry room with a um, a big washing machine and a, and a clothes dryer in there um, and there's two sections to the marine there's a narrow boat section there's also a cruiser section and where the, the barges are, the Dutch barges and the wide beams. So. We're lucky here because we've got a, a restaurant uh, like a bistro and they have uh, club nights and Quiz cool nights, nights. music and, nights. Yeah, so, so they, active. They, yeah, they keep it trying, trying to keep something yeah. going. Um, fresh running water every day. We've got mains which is run by a metre. Um, and there's rubbish, there's plenty of space to put your rubbish um, and the marina is a very pretty marina, it's nice and quiet apart from the trains as you can hear <laughs> in the background you get, um, but, but no it's a lovely place to be. This winter we're expanding our internet based electricity metering system uh, which will allow boat owners to keep a much tighter control on their electricity usage on board, it will send them a message when they're running low and enable them to top up remotely without actually visiting their boats at all. Brilliant. And plans and things for the Olympics, which are pretty near. Yes, we've got the uh, Paralympics and Olympic events taking place at the nearby Dorney Lake. And they're doing the sprint kayak and obviously the rowing. So there's quite a lot of facilities here. Are there any improvements that you could suggest? Uh, everyone that uses a trolley to take their stuff to the boat, as we've done today, the deal is you're supposed to take it back to the park so it's ready for the next person and they have been trying to tighten up on that, mm. haven't they? Because there have been smell spells when 
the trolleys have just disappeared. You've arrived and there aren't any. And right. People have taken them down the ends of various pontoons and not brought them back. Anything that they could improve on or that they're missing? I think probably, if I was to be really critical, um, a better chandlery. Yes, um, that's quite restricted. Yeah, it's, it's, they used to have the office and the chandlery where the bar is. Yeah. Where now the bar is much bigger than it used to be and the charger is much smaller. Right. Obviously they're cramped for space. Um, but the charnery would be an asset if, if it was bigger. So bearing all that in mind, how would you rate it in terms of value for money here? Um, fairly good. Going on other marinas, um, I don't think we're a million miles away from everybody, all the other top marinas, and it's, fi it's a five gold anchor marina. So, um, it, you know, they've said it's, it's one of the best places to be, so... I don't think it's bad if you look at the, the prices of other marinas. I mean, we keep them in the water here rather than taking them out. We have got the facility to take them out and take them down in the marina and take them out. Uh, and they will store them for you. Right. I've never really had to bother because I don't have that much repair work to do yeah. on the boat because it's relatively new. But, I yeah. mean, some of the people have got lots of work cleaning bottoms and whatever. Yeah. And they can offer that facility. Boating is, is very, very expensive and quite honestly we've found a difference over the last two or three years where you can go out now and the river is pretty slack, you know. The lock keepers will tell you that their numbers are down um, and it's not how it used to be and that's all down to cost and the diesel and mm. keeping it sort of um, how it should be. Mm, yeah. So. To answer your question truthfully, we would like it cheaper, but then you've got to think to yourself, well, they're in it for a business, and they charge what the going rate is, yeah. um, and if you've got a boat, then you've got to pay it. Yeah. So it's a thumbs up for the Thames and Kennet Marina in Reading. Whether you're fleeing a flooding river or just travelling through the area, they're well worth a look.